All right, so, how many of you showed up yesterday and waited around for me in the pouring rain? <laughs> Gesundheit. All right, so pretty much everybody. Good. Well, the reason I didn't make it was I was out very late the night before, all right? Doing what? Explanation over. What were you doing, Coach McGurk? Oh, well, it looks like I got a heckler. What? My first, uh, lady, let me remove my brain so we can, uh, start as equals. Hey. <laughs> hey, uh, nice outfit. Some, uh, motel somewhere is missing a shower curtain, huh? Coach. <laughs> who does your hair, Picasso? Huh? Coach. Who does it? Honestly, who does your hair, lady? My dad. Who's your dad, Picasso? Hey, Coach, uh, Melissa wasn't heckling you. Oh, look at this, folks. We got stereo hecklers. Hey, pal, I don't bother you when you're working, all right? I don't have a job. I don't go down to the bus terminal and pee on the seats while you're trying to clean them. What? Because you work there. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're doing comedy? Not just comedy, Brendan. Stand-up comedy. But you're not funny. What? What? What are you talking about, Brendan? I mean, uh... People around here a lot of times say, McGurk, you're, you're kind of funny. Yeah? You know, and people, some of the teachers think I'm funny. Who? Well, you know, when I go into the teacher's lounge and I'll say something, people will laugh and they'll be like, well, you should do comedy. Oh. All right? I have weird observations about things. Right. That are meaningful. Uh-huh. And uh, I need to get them out there. Yeah, um... You know, I heard it was also a good way to get <laughs> things off your chest. You know, I got a lot of anger, Brendan. Yeah. And I need to channel that anger. Yeah. Usually I just have a few drinks in my apartment. Yeah. Start yelling and then pass out. Yeah. Well, this is a way to bring that energy from my apartment to the public, to the people. Uh, well, what about soccer and your actual job? If I make it as a stand-up, I won't need soccer. Mm. Even though I'm touting myself as the soccer comic. Mm. This is what I do, Brendan. I go up in my coach's outfit, my whistle, yeah. and the soccer ball in my hand. I set up a goal. Uh -huh. It's pretty funny, isn't it? I would have to see it. No, well, Brendan, the whole point is, is that it's out of the element. You know, you're used to seeing me here, because I'm, I'm, I am a soccer coach. I know. But you take that same soccer coach and put him in a different environment, that's funny. People laugh. Do they? They did. When? At the beginning. Then what? Well, then I told jokes. Then they didn't laugh. Ouch. But the, you gotta start somewhere. You started with the outfit. Right. All right, yeah! Please welcome to the stage. He's a newcomer. Please be gentle. John McGee! Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's actually McGurk. John McGurk. So, uh, how, how's everybody doing tonight? So, folks, you know, uh, you know you're not allowed to uh, double park in front of a bank? I didn't know this. I, I double parked and they towed my car. It's very embarrassing because I come running out of the bank because I robbed it. And I see my car on the back of a tow truck. I'm thinking, at least I can afford to get it back. Then I got to ride, rob the bank. <clears throat> All right, check my notes here. Uh, hey, what's with classical music on the radio? When are they gonna stop that? I mean, does anybody still listen? No, get rid of it. I mean, I mean uh, can we agree on that? When's that from? I mean, there's oldies and then there's oldies. I don't want to hear music from 1640. All right. <clears throat> What's with these pictures of, uh, you know, missing kids on the milk cartons? Uh, you know, I'm eating my cereal in the morning, and um, I see this, you know, missing kid. Well, thanks for depressing me. You know, it's going to be a good day. I guess I should go look for a missing kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's a funny one. So I, a few weeks ago, I was in a hotel room, right? And, uh, you know, hotel rooms offer that, you know, porn on television, you know? I order it up, and my mom says, hey, turn that off. Because she, <laughs> she was in the hotel room with me. I was with my mom. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Classical music. How am I doing on time here? Can you keep it going? That's it? All right, folks. Uh, well, I've been... Uh, I've been John McGurk, the soccer comic. Thank you. <laughs> Dead cat thing is funny. You listening to me? You know, you should use like a stuffed animal and take all the stuffing out so it's all flat. You know, and then when you talk about the cat getting run over, the audience sees what you're talking about. You gotta get them into your world. You know what I'm saying? The thing it, I did about the pimple is funny, right? I mean, I know it needs, but it's, you know, right? 
I think I need a tag or something on the end, like something that says to the audience, here's the funny. Yeah, man, I'm really working up a thirst. Teddy, what's his name? Why is every bartender named Teddy? <laughs> it's like they uh, breed them in, uh, somewhere in the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys want another one? Come on, stick with me. Watch it, jerk. Coach McGurk? Brendan, what are you doing in my house? You're on the beach. What are you doing on my beach? Oh, beach. Oh, man, not again. Why are you sleeping on the beach, Coach McGurk? Because comedy's tough, Brendan. Well, uh, you don't look so good. Well, I feel fine. Actually, I have a pounding headache. There's a fish in my pants. Um... You know what, Brendan? I can't live like this. Yeah. I can do stand-up without the binge drinking. <clears throat> or I can just stop the stand-up. Do the drinking, because I like that part. Right. But, you know, I can't do both. I gotta take a stand, Brendan, one way or the other. Yeah. I got to take a stand. Yeah. Hey, do me a favor, will you? What's that? Help me stand. <clears throat> That's not gonna happen. All right, team. Coach McGurk has to run a little errand right now, but uh, keep practicing until I come back. Where are you going? None of your business. Uh, on second thought, who wants to come with Coach McGurk to identify a body? Anybody? Anyway, you know, like I, I told him, you know, walkathon. Yeah, I'll do that. You know, sure, but a you know, runathon? I wouldn't do a runathon. You want to see an eight-year-old have a heart attack? <sighs> hey, uh, Brendan, you have a couple of bucks for gas. You want to kick in here? Um, uh. Look, I'll get the gas, but that's it. Look, I'll get the soda, but that's it. Look, I'll get the bagels, but that's it. Look, I'll get the pants, but that's it. Hey, what is 15% of 39.50? Just move the decimal, Brendan. And then add 15. What the hell are we doing? I'm supposed to be at the morgue identifying a body. Well, he's not going anywhere, Coach. Why? Oh, wow. Yuck. Man. It's weird seeing a dead body, Brendan. And it's weird, yeah. weird seeing it with you. I kind of feel like I shouldn't have brought you here, you know? I mean, you are eight, and... No, I'm cool. All right. I'm cool. Just don't tell your mom that I brought you to see a dead body today. Oh, yuck. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Man, is he ugly. Coach, do you know that guy? Hey, Brendan, you don't have to whisper. He's dead. I mean, look at him. Yeah. Who is this? It's my Uncle Pedro. That's my dead Uncle Pedro. Yeah. Did he just wink? Man, Brendan, that was weird, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Believe me, when you get older, uh -huh. this is going to disturb you. Right. Not that I'm not totally disturbed now. Yeah, I'll tell you but... something, Brendan. Life is funny. Didn't know the guy at all, you know? It's actually the first time I met him. Yeah. It's like when some movie opens, Brendan, and closes in the same weekend because they didn't advertise enough, you know? Yeah. Then you hear the movie was crappy anyway, so you didn't miss much, right? Right. But was it crappy? You know, I mean, yeah. was it? You don't know. Right. Because you didn't see it. Right. Huh. I guess you left trying to figure it out, is what my point is. Yeah, it's weird. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah. I guess a lot of stuff doesn't make sense after you've seen a dead body, you know? Hey, Brendan, do you think what I'm thinking? Man, this movie is crappy. Yeah, you're telling me. Hey, Brendan, I'm putting you in charge of Operation Popcorn. Aye, aye, Captain. What? Oh, my God. Oh, no. What? Oh, man, I spent all the money. Well, go pass the can around, and then bring back popcorn. Hey, Coach. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm uh, wondering if I could possibly be reimbursed for that uh, little road trip we took the other day. Brendan, where's the fire? I told you you're going to get it, right? Well, yeah, I know, but uh, I could get in trouble here, so, hey, you Brendan, know... what are you, the mob? Huh? No. Are you the collector? No one. Are you the no. IRS? <laughs> can I please... Are you the tax man? <laughs> no, can I please have my money? Give me some space here, Brendan, all right? Well, I'm just, you know, it's, it's been a few days, so... Well, I happen to be in a cash crunch right now. Well, yeah, no, aren't we all? That's... Are you thinking yeah. I get paid well for this job? I don't want to answer that. The point is I don't. Okay. Well, um... I'm on a teacher's salary here, Brendan, and uh, I guess the government has decided not to pay teachers well. Yeah. Because they're doing the most important job in the country. Right. We can do this all day, but I I'm in danger of getting in trouble, and, you know, just... Oh, man. Hey, you know what? What? I'm supposed to go to a will reading for my dead uncle, the guy you met. What, Uncle Pedro? Yeah, remember I introduced you? 
Yeah. That's right. So, you know, I'm sure there's some cash coming my way. If you'd like to come, you could probably collect. Hmm. You think of what I'm thinking? I think so. Road trip! Well, um, first of all, of course, uh, my condolences. Right on, man. Yeah. Um, and this is your son? What? Oh, him? Uh, me? Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think so. Not oh. uh, not this guy. Oh. If this was my son, I'd yeah. kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'd yeah. kill him, too. All right, shut oh, up, Brendan. You shut up. Okay, then. Okay. All right. All right. So let's get this started. Yeah. Right, Brendan, let him handle it. Hey, look, I need the money. Well, uh... Okay. Okay. Um, let me get right to business here. I don't know if you uh, knew this about your uncle. He was a very successful sausageer. That's that's uh, you know one one who uh, makes sausages. Wow! I thought what I did was embarrassing. And uh, he did make a very comfortable living. And he in fact mentioned in his will uh, that he wanted to give you the family business. Oh yeah. Uh, though he reconsidered, he did, however, leave you something that was very very dear to him. Something that he had hoped you would um, cherish as much as he did. Uh, here it is, his last remaining sausage. Enjoy. That's it? That's it. A frozen sausage? Mm-hmm. What about money? Um, afraid not. Well, give me some money. I, I... That's why I came here. I'm sorry, that's, um, you're looking at it. He left me a frozen sausage, that's what you're telling me. A frozen me. sausage. So... So, my, uh, secretary will see you out. Thank you for coming. Oh, my life. Sir, this is vintage sausage. Take a look at it again. No, I will not look at that. Look, I'm doing you a favor. Take this sausage and get the hell out of here. Just give me ten bucks. Five dollars. Seven. Six dollars. I ain't giving this for six. Get the hell out of here. Look at it. Get out of here right now. Weird old fool dies, leaves me a sausage. Not money, a sausage. His money is something I could use. I have to eat this repugnant sausage because I have no food. Sausage is probably 18 years old. This thing could vote. This thing could go to war and die for its country. Oh, my sweet heaven. That is... It's incredible! Hey, save some for me. Hey, you know, we got a uh, four-day vacation coming up. Uh, yes, McGurk, I'm, I'm aware of that. I have a school calendar, too. So what are you going to do with your time off? Hmm. Well, I, I haven't really thought about it. Uh, probably uh, correct tests. Uh, probably do a little reading. My God, you're boring. You know, I asked myself the same question. What am I going to do, you know, with my vacation time? Hmm. And then I saw this. Cancun, my friend. I'm going to Cancun. Mexico. Hmm. Interesting. What did you say? I said interesting. No, before that. Hmm. The before hmm. Mexico? Right. It's Mexico. I thought I was an idiot. No, they like to pronounce it Mexico. Who likes to pronounce it Mexico? The Mexicans. Well, I'll tell you something, Lynch. I'm going to Mexico. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to Mexico. Right. How about that? Fine. You pronounce it however you wish, but it is Mexico. Hmm. So you're interested in going with me? or uh, you know? Huh. Well, you know, you and I might not be compatible travel companions. So? Who cares? Lynch, here's the deal. There's a discounted group rate. It would be crazy not to take advantage of it. Uh, I don't know, McGurk. I can't answer right now. Look, How's that? Think about it. Read the pamphlet. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't wait too long, though, amigo. That's Spanish. Mm -hmm. Not the whole sentence, just the amigo. Right. You know what, Brendan? You're being a baby. You could ask. I, you know, I'll be honest. I don't think I can go to Cancun right now. You can go to Cancun. We're on friendly terms with Mexico, Brendan. Oh. All right? They let us in. Yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I don't think my mom was going to let me go with my soccer coach to Mexico. Well, all I you have to do is ask. I'm, a... the I'm a guardian. Well, what would you say to my mom? All right. You approach me. I'll be your mom. You be you. Okay. Mom, can I go to Cancun, please? With who? Uh, with Coach McGurk. Sure. See? All you okay. got to do is ask. Yeah. That's the problem with this country. Nobody asks. Right. Look, I'm going to answer right now. I would love to, but sorry, and I can't. I take traveling very seriously, and I would like to have you, my travel companion, participate in some preliminary travel exercises, including a crash course in Mexican history and rudimentary Spanish. Hmm. No. Okay, well then, uh, hasta mañana, compadre. What does that mean? That means goodbye forever. Really? Well, no, but I'm, I'm exaggerating, but if, look, if... Lynch, let me interrupt you. Shut up. You are going with me to Mexico, to Cancun, 
so I can get a better rate. Look, if you want me to go with you on this vacation to Cancun, then you're going to have to meet me here after school. That's it. And bring a pencil. <laughs> me llamo Senor Lynch. Como te llama? Hmm? Como te llama? Te llama Senor McGurk. Senor Juan McGurk. Oh, I hate this, Lynch. Verdad. Let's begin. Como trabaja, eh, Senor McGurk? See, si, what is your job? All right, great. And what is your job? What, are you asking me what my job is? Yes, in fact, como trabaja. Oh, I'm a soccer coach. Mm. In Espanol, por favor. What? We speak Spanish in this class, Senor McGurk. Tu eres el profesor de soccer. Verdad, now. Yo tengo un cacahuerte. <sighs> Repite. Yo tengo un caca fuerte. Muy bien. <laughs> that means I have a peanut. Wow, that's... Now, repeat after me. Yo tengo... Wait, un... wait, how did we go from what's your job to I have a peanut? Okay, yo tengo right. un puerco en mi nariz. What does that mean? That means I have a pig in my nose. What is going on in Mexico? Lynch, come here. Lynch. Please. That's a big hat you have there. Excuse me. Look at that hat. It's round. Lynch, shut up. McGurk. Wait, no, get Lynch, get off Buddy. me. Buddy. Lynch, you're drunk. I'm going to get you back to the hotel oh. if I can find it. Look at those hats. Excuse me, Mexican. See? I'm trying to find my hotel. Me llamo hotel. No, 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 no comprende. What, what do you mean, no comprende? Can you give me directions? Uh, to no me? English. Uh, McGurk, look at the book. Lynch, you know Spanish. Uh, no comprende. You're the one who taught me. Ask him where a hotel is. Where's the hotel? No, in Spanish, Lynch. Where the... F Lynch, how do you say where is the hotel? Hotel. Donde es de la hotel that we were staying at? <laughs> Brendan, you're late. <clears throat> Sorry, Coach McGurk. I, I had to stay after because I flunked a test. You look terrible. Well, I haven't been sleeping very well, and, you know, I got a phone call at 4 o'clock this morning because... Whoa, we... whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Always late, flunking tests, tired, phone calls at 4 in the morning. Yeah. Brendan. Brendan. Yeah. Are you trading online? What? Brendan? No. Brendan, if you are... What? Go on in. Heard it makes a lot of money. Yeah. No, I know. You're doing drugs, right? <laughs> Are you out of your mind, Answer coach? the question, Brendan. Are you doing drugs? That's ridiculous. I, I'm not even going to justify that with an answer. Humor me. All right. A farmer and his three beautiful daughters go to the village. Uh, <laughs> heard it. Look, Brendan, I'm going to keep a close eye on you for your own good. But right now, because you were late, mm. everyone voted you to be the first one to take Mr. Freckles down the other end of the field to do his business. The janitor? Mr. Freckles. Not Mr. Fitzgerald. Oh. There's Mr. Freckles. Oh. Eh. Okay, I'll take him. Hello, how are you? Hi, Mr. Freckles. And here, Hi. take these I two bags and clean up after him. Why are you handing me two bags? One's for number one, one's for number two. And you gotta help him go. Mm. He's really old. Now you gotta stay in your positions, all right? You think of it uh, like it's a uh, hospital emergency room. Everybody's got a job to do. The receptionist asks what the problem is. The triage nurse verifies the problem, then the doctors fix the problem. Of course, some doctors are comedians and have to make comments because they think they're funny. Well, sir, how'd you get a cut on your... Brendan! You're late again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come over here, Brendan. The rest of you take laps. Remember the hospital thing. Brendan, I know something's going on. Nothing is going on, Coach McGurk. Hey, I said something's going on. Now, let me tell you a story, all right, about me. I once went astray myself. I'm not astray. You shut up and listen, Brendan. Okay. And learn. Okay. All right, when I was in college, I went through some weird times. I didn't know you went to college. A couple days I did. All right? And I ran with a gang. My gang was called the Feel Goods. It wasn't the toughest gang in the world. It was more like running with the cast of a Broadway musical. Very annoying. A lot of freaky interpretive dance stuff. Beads, makeup. In other words, drugs, Brendan. Coach McGurk, I am not doing drugs. You remember the feel goods, Brendan? Am I? Huh? No. Is that it? What? Denial is the first sign that you got a problem, Brendan. No, it's not. Denial is the first sign that I don't have a problem. That's why I'm denying it. It doesn't work that way, Brendan. You can't fool me with your logic. If you're denying doing it, that means you're doing it. You mean like, uh, he who smells it dealt it? I don't know from poetry, Brendan. But if you're doing drugs, you're doing drugs, and that's bad. Uh, but I'm not doing anything. Well, you're doing this. <sighs> Mr. Freckles again? 
Yeah, hey, he who's late cleans Mr. Freckles' crap. All right, bring it in. Do you want me to pee in that right here, right now? No, of course not. Wait till I finish my coffee first. This is stupid. Whoa, Mr. Freckles! Mr. Freckles, get back here! Mr. Freckles, come here! Come here, Freckles! Come back, girl! Mr. Come here, girl! Mr. Freckles is a girl? All right, everybody, bring it in. Come on, that's enough playing with the dog. Brendan, get Mr. Freckles back on the leash. Mm. That's enough fun for today, kids. We gotta practice. All right, before you go home, everybody listen up. Soccer's a hard game, but life is a harder game. Sometimes, people do things and take the shortcut, try and make life easier. Brendan Small is a drug addict. <laughs> this is your intervention, Brendan. Are you out of your mind? All right, kids, take over. I don't exactly know how these things go, so you guys handle it. Let's get him back on track. Everybody intervene. Intervene, go ahead. Brendan should stop doing drugs, right? Everybody? <laughs> Look, What are you staring at me for? All right, you know what? Intervention over. Brendan, get off the drugs. <laughs> Look, of all the ridiculous hair brains, it, I, I haven't been sleeping well. Okay? I don't get this. No, but you know what? what? I don't get what this. What don't you get? What? I try and do an intervention. No one believes me. Brendan, drugs are not the issue here. What? All right, leadership is the issue. Think it was easy for me to do an intervention? No. I read a pamphlet last night, Brendan. Yeah. It didn't go so well, did it? No. So who has egg on their face, Brendan or Coach McGurk? Coach McGurk. Yeah, you. I mean, you, you do look the like... The point is, Brendan, I want to get the kids motivated. That's... All right, so I said you had a little drug problem. I don't believe this. You know what? Forget it. I mean, just forget it. It's too late now. Go clean up Mr. Freckles' crap. All right, listen up. That was a good game. We all showed up, and I'm proud of that. Coach McGurk, I was just wondering, how come they canceled the game after 10 minutes? Well, because we were losing by 20 goals, Melissa. It's called the slaughter rule. You know, Melissa, if we played the full game, we probably would have lost by 100 goals. I don't know why I'm saying we. I wasn't out there running around like it was the first time I ever used my legs. Melissa. Okay. You know, it's like when they stop a boxing match because the guy's bleeding too much, you know? All cut up. Only this was worse. I mean, fractured jaws get wired shut. Broken noses become badges of courage. Melissa. Okay. But to lose by 20 goals in 10 minutes is... No, oh, forget it. You played a good game. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Bye, everybody. See you at my party. Bye. 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 All right, Fenton. Waddle out of here. Played a good game. Thanks. Not really. And thanks again for the invite. What's that, Coach McGurk? It's an invitation, Brendan. Fenton invited me to his party. <laughs> Are you going to a kid's party? Of course I'm not going, Brendan. You know, it's nice to be invited, you know? Right. It's nice to uh, feel wanted. It's nice to have someone say to you, we enjoy your company. Please come and share with us a special day. Touches the heart. Is that what your invitation says? Actually, it says, uh, Jolly Jeepers, ain't it great? Fenton Muley's turning eight. Eat some ice cream, eat some cake. Jeepers Jolly, ain't it great? Wow. That's awful. It, he'll be right yes, he is! Here. He's ruining my party! All right, dear, he's ruining it. That's All right, let the games begin. Jolly jeepers. This sucks. Wow, a soccer ball. I'm gonna need that back after today. A CD? You gave me a CD last year. I did? Was that your name? Yes. Or was it Queen Melissa? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Thank you. It's a trick deck. Every other car is a queen of hearts. Hey, pal. I'm just trying to earn 30 bucks here, huh? Then give me a break. Uh, give yourself a break. Whatever. Uh, I'll give you 40 if you hit the road. Deal. Really? Uh-huh. Um, I didn't think you were going to go for it. And the ball is gone. Where'd it go? It's in your other hand. Oh, uh, you're right. It's just hard to do tricks with a soccer ball. I can put it behind my back, all right? Now where's the ball? It's behind your back. All right, fine, Melissa. You win. It's not a great game. Kids, gather around. Who wants to play dice? Melissa, you have money on you? I have two dollars. Put it on the table. How do you win? You know what dice are, right? Yeah, but I don't know how you play dice. Well, you roll them. Oh. I'll tell you when you win, or I'll tell you when you lose. Okay. All right, so two bucks, one's mine, one's yours. But they're both really mine. All right, roll the dice. Four, you lose. Oh. Yeah. I'm all out of money. Who wants to throw the bones? Anyone? What's that kid's name? Oh, no. No, no. Oh, my beautiful babies. <laughs> all right, here's a trick. Houdini couldn't even do this one. Who? Not just who. Houdini. You get it? Mm-hmm. All right. Now hit me as hard as you can in the stomach. Cool trick, huh? 
Good one. All right, next. Keep the line straight. Don't cut. No, you go first. No, same time. I don't think we can. Yeah, one, two, three. Can we do it together? One, two, three. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him. Let's hit him at the same time. Ow. Girl! Nobody likes me because of you! Hey, don't leave! The party's not over! Okay, fine. Leave. See if I care! Fenton, honey, Brendan didn't get to the story about you and him. You know what, Mom? What, honey? It's all your fault! Oh, honey. You ruined my party! I didn't! Everybody hates me because of you! I'm so sorry. Fenton, shut up! All right, shut up! And you stop your weaselly little crying! <gasps> now apologize to your mother and then apologize to everyone else here at the party. Oh. What? Now! I'm sorry. That's better. Mr. McGurk, would you like a cup of coffee? Sure. That sounds great. You can call me John. John. Mrs. Muley. Call me Trudy. Well, Trudy, would, uh, would you like to punch me in the stomach? I sure would. Mm. But what about my party? Go to your room, Fenton. What? Now. Look, here's an old trick, right? Okay. Tell her you're taking her out to the opera. Right. Right, you meet her somewhere. Sure. But, oh, no. Yeah. I forgot the tickets. <laughs> they must be back at my place. Right. All right, you following? Yes. All right, so now you got her back at your place, right? Right. Then, you know, while you're uh, looking for the tickets, mm -hmm. you open a bottle of wine. You know, uh, in your case, probably beer. Right. Anyway, you have a couple drinks, right? Yes. And then you're like, well, we got to go to the opera, but oh, no, I'm feeling a little tipsy. Sure. From the wine, so we can't possibly go to the opera. Yeah, drink. Yeah. All right? You're right. And then you're there. In your place, with the girl. Right. It's a classic. Yeah, you know, in, in that scenario, you've lured her into the thing with opera, then you don't give her the opera. Now, wouldn't, uh, theoretically, she be disappointed? Of course. That's why you reschedule the opera. Wait, what, and then what, lose the tickets again? Yeah. Man, you sure know a lot about women, Coach. Well, Brendan, you know, I've been studying them for a long time. Well, do you have a girlfriend currently? Well, it's kind of tough in this town, Brendan, you know, this particular yeah. town happens to be dry. Oh. Why? Why? Because all the smart, pretty girls, you know, move away from crappy, two-bit towns like this, right? Sure. And go on and live their great lives. Right. And have great success. Sure. Well, people like me, who have some integrity and loyalty, stick with this town. Right. Fighting the good fight, Brendan. Um, In a way, Brendan, I am a hero. Wow. Really? Yeah. Like a, as far as like a representative? Well, I'm like a sexless John Glenn. Thanks for the advice. All right. Look, um, if you hold on, I have to uh, hello? John, hold believe it. Hold on, I have it in my wallet. Hello, John. Hello, John. Hello, John. Hello, John. Uh, hello, is this Allison? Speaking. Yeah. You'll never believe who this is. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Hold on. Shut up! I'm sorry, who is this? Uh, John McGurk from high school. John McGurk. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, yeah, how are you? I'm actually great. I'm sorry, John, hold on. Did you finish your oatmeal? I hate oatmeal. Well, that's tough, isn't it? You don't finish your dinner, you don't go outside and play. Well, you guys are having oatmeal for dinner, uh, huh? Candy's putting the oatmeal down the sink. She's what? I'm, I'm sorry, John. Can you hold on? Uh, yeah. The two of you sit down and shut Hello? Up. Hello? Allison, hello? 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 Oh, I, I'm sorry. I didn't realize someone was already on the line. Yeah, I, I am on the line. Okay. Uh, Allison? Sorry. What? Hello, sweetheart? Yeah, right here. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Yes, hi. Hi, listen, um, if you're going out... Sorry, you sir, I, I don't mean to interrupt, Allison, but uh, <clears throat> I was wondering if you wanted to uh, maybe go out on a date Friday night. Allison. Brendan, there's nothing wrong with lying to women. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Or the government. Right. Or your parents. Sure. Or God. Right. All right? Yeah, but what if they figure out that you're a liar, you know? What, women? Sure. Then who needs them? Lie to men. What? Wait a minute, what do you mean by that? All right, look, Brendan, why do we do this? Why do we do, I don't know, what do you mean? Why do we play this crazy game that we play? See, I don't know. You know, why do we open ourselves up to, to make ourselves vulnerable to women? I don't know. Look, the point is, Brendan, this girl Sylvia... Cynthia. As long as she believes that you belong to this country club, then there isn't a problem. Yeah, see, but what if she finds out? Well, then, you know, Brendan, who cares? You're eight. You're right. Why put yourself through this? You have an entire life to be miserable. Well, yeah. Hold on. Hello? John McGurk? You got him. It's Lorraine Christensen. I got your message. My God, how long has it been? Wow. Lorraine, how are you? Uh, you're breaking up, John, but listen, I'm dying to get together with you. Oh, great. And I'd love to hear more about your internet startup that's going public. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, yeah. I want some stock tips. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Look, um, 
It's funny. Congratulations on losing all that weight, by the way. Yeah, and yeah. Um, before I forget, you have to tell me when your next competition is. Oh, uh, I will, definitely. Which uh, competition, by the way? The bodybuilding competition. Oh, right, right, yeah. Look, look, I gotta run, but Friday at 7 sounds great. I, I haven't been to the opera in years. I'm, I'm so excited. I'll, I'll see you then. Uh, who's that? Nothing. What was I talking about? Hey, Lorraine. Yeah? Hey, it's me, John McGurk. <laughs> How are you? I know, I know what you're thinking. Uh, you know, who's this guy? What? I can explain. I, uh, I lied. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, what, what's going on? Well, I mean, everything I told you um, was a lie. I'm a liar. I don't get. Lorraine. What? Look, I was embarrassed about who I was, and I'm still embarrassed. You know, I'm not gonna lie anymore. I, I want you to know who I am. You know, who the guy standing in front of you is. I, I'm, uh, I'm a soccer coach for kids. That's all. And I'll understand if you don't want to uh, go through with the date, but we might still enjoy each other's company and have a fantastic evening talking about soccer. I even went through and bought the tickets to the opera, see? The ball's in your Taxi. court. Taxi! So it's totally up to you. All right, I got two. Two to sell. All right, everybody, quiet down. Who was talking? Melissa? Sorry. And this new kid here is Eddie. Hi, Hi Eddie. Eddie. All right, Eddie, take a hike while I explain to everybody what's wrong with you. Coach, is Eddie sick? Who told you? Nobody, I was... I Don't was do just... my job for me, Melissa, okay? Okay. All right, now, everybody, Eddie's sick, but he's a good kid. He's like the son I never had, or I don't know about. Anyway, anyone messing with Eddie messes with me. You got that, Melissa? I'm not going to mess with Eddie. Good. Now, this is complicated, so just bear with me. Eddie was born with some kind of problem, and he takes medication for it. Any questions? Good. <laughs> Look at him out there, so small, so defenseless. It's like a chipmunk with a disease. Who didn't love that analogy? All right, everybody, here's some of the warning signs that tell you something's wrong with Eddie. What I like to call this part of the speech is, you know Eddie's sick if... dot, dot, dot. If he stops breathing, if he vomits blood, or if he ever says help, or if it looks like he's saying help, but he can't say help. He's like mouthing it. Uh, hey, Coach McGurk, Eddie just fell. Oh, God. Is he up yet? No. How about now? Uh, nope. Well, give him a few minutes, Brendan. I don't yell at me. I'm just, he fell. This can't happen the first day, Brendan. What's he doing? He's moving. Is he? All right. Melissa. Yeah? Go drag him off the field so we can start practice. Okay. <laughs> All right, good, Eddie, good. That was a nice kick. All right, now get ready, because I'm going to kick this one a little harder. This one's coming like a rocket. Get ready for it. Here we go. Oh, Eddie, I'm sorry. That was a good stop, though. You really used your uh, mouth. Wow. Well, that must have been loose anyway, right? Uh, coach! Melissa, not now. What? We're getting killed out there. We need your help. You coach, Melissa. I'm elsewhere, all right? I'm helping Eddie. Okay. What, what do you got, false teeth in there, Eddie? Hey, other team! We quit! Hey, Melissa, what did I teach you about team spirit? Oh, sorry. So long, suckers! That's better. Uh, hey, Melissa, watch where you're stepping, because there's teeth on the ground here. Ew. Eddie. Eddie? Eddie. All right, everybody, gather around. <clears throat> I got some bad news, so listen up. It's part of the job I love. <laughs> Eddie is no longer with us. What? All right, now, wait a minute. You let me explain something, all right? Eddie moved to Arizona, which is a state. Apparently, it's healthier there. You know, it's better for Eddie to live like a lizard in the desert, crawling around, eating bugs. <clears throat> hey, Coach, do you miss Eddie? Don't be ridiculous, Brendan. Eddie was sick. Yeah. You don't miss sick people. <clears throat> but it was kind of fun having Eddie around, you know? He sort of reminded me of me when I was his age. Oh, uh, really? I don't know. He did remind me of me about two years ago. Wow. But being with him made me think I'd like to spend some time working with kids, you know? But y you do spend time working with kids, Coach McGurk. You're a soccer coach. Shut up, Brendan. Okay. You know, I'm talking about quality time, you know, like one-on-one, -on -one, you know? Sure. I'm thinking about becoming a big brother. Well, you, you are big. <laughs> well, get out on that field and show me what you can do, Brendan. Nah. 
So you gonna get me some smokes or what? You know, you shouldn't smoke, all right? Plus, I already gave you a pack. Oh, dude, come on. Get hey, me don't some... call me dude, all right? I'm older than you. Whatever. I'm out of here. This is lame. You're lame. Hey, good. You know what? Go. See if I care. Adios. All right. I'm going to the agency tomorrow anyway and getting a better little brother. Better than you! You suck as a little brother! Wow. Nice tiger. Hello? Big brother, I didn't see. Yeah, hey, this is uh, John McGurk. I was in to see you. Who's this? This is a Ken. Oh, hey, Ken. I talked to you yesterday, remember? Uh... Oh, hello. How you doing? Yeah, remember okay, yesterday that kid took off? Well, and yeah, I... we had a big problem with that. Yeah, did you find him? We never found him, no. Yeah, well, that kid was definitely troubled. I... Uh, I have to say, you're not so good influence on that guy. Uh, you know, it wasn't me, Ken. I just, like, you know, I just... Uh, I don't want to point finger, but, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm, uh... you have to point the finger. Yeah. Well, why are you call John McGurk? Well, actually, I was uh, I was hoping to be set up again with another kid, you know, because that one didn't work out so well. Okay, yeah, well, I look through my file. We have plenty of kid here. Or just, uh... Uh, look, can I make a recommendation? What's the die? Uh, could you get me somebody sick? Okay, well, I'm going to look through my file. I got one kid. I'm looking right here. Mm -hmm. We got one kid who has uh, no eyes. Who's blind? No, he just has no eyes. But he can see? No, he can't see nothing. Right. It says no eyes on this paper. It says cannot see also in parentheses. Well, what, do you have anything more sick? More sick? Well, I got one kid who has a wooden leg. Wooden leg, that's not bad. Yeah, and the other one plastic. So one plastic, one wooden leg. Yeah, I guess he, he could not find a matching pair. That's pretty sad. That's not so good, yeah. Wow, I'd love to put those two kids together. If you, if you could combine those kids, that was a pretty good thing. Yeah, like one plastic leg, one wooden leg, no eyes. Uh, hey, Ken, I like you. I like you, too. I have to admit, I do like you a little bit. <laughs> It's pretty shocking that you run a Big Brother agency. That's pretty crazy. The other guy's sick. That's why I'm kind of just working temporarily. Yeah. yeah. Time out. Ref, time out. Melissa, Brendan, come here. That's right, on the double. Hustle it up. <clears throat> yeah? Coach, are we in trouble? I want you two to look at my gums. I don't want to look at your gums, no. Coach. Come on, I can't see them from here. All right. Oh, great. Are you bleeding? Uh, yep. You hurt yourself? Oh, Brandon, it's called gingivitis. Like on TV. Right, or in the movies. Right. <clears throat> Why don't you just go to the dentist? I hate the dentist. Me too, because every time I go to the dentist, my tongue gets depressed. <laughs> Thank you. You floss, Brendan? No way. Oh, me neither. Time in! Here's a piece of advice, Brendan. There's no such thing as psychology. It's all made up crap. Oh, really? Yeah, they're yeah. all con men. All of them. Even the women. Oh. Just remember that when they're telling you how screwed up you are. Okay. And uh, let me tell you something else. Astronomy is BS, too. Really? Yeah, all that star crap is ridiculous. But there are stars. Whatever, Brendan. Okay. Will you ever you ever go to a therapist? Oh, yeah. Sometimes you, you got to do certain things to re-enter society. All right? <sighs> I guess I've got some issues. Well, like what? I'll fix them. Well, I, I guess I'm slightly frustrated about my father remarrying, you know, this... this... That's a load of crap, Brendan. Yeah, well... I mean, come on. That's psychobabble. What? Don't fall prey to it, Brendan. Okay, what does that mean, though? So what were you saying? I was saying, uh, I guess I'm slightly frustrated about my father remarrying, you know, the oh, woman... Oh, that makes sense. The woman he's marrying, though, you know? What, what, is she ugly? No, actually, she's attractive, which really is... Really attractive? Pretty attractive, yeah. She could be on a magazine. Really? Yeah. What type of magazine? Like a dirty mag or a... Or like one of those model mags. Uh, like a model mag, you know. Well. Yeah. yeah. So you're jealous? Oh, no way. No, no, no. She's not my type. She's, she is way too wound up. Well, so are you, Brendan. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, you are. No. Yeah, see? What? You're defensive. Well, it's because you're accusing me. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being wound up, Brendan. All right. And you're, like, weak and sickly. Yeah. You're a little short, too. Whoa, nothing whoa Nothing wrong there. with that either, Brendan. Nothing wrong with being short. You make up for it in uh. other ways. Right. Use your head, for instance. Sure, sure. Yeah, what? No, but anyway, Brendan, it's clear to me you're jealous. No way. Yeah. No. And this woman probably acts like a baby, you know, and acting like a baby's your <laughs> job, right? No. And she's stepping on your toes, and you hate her, even though really deep down you wish that she was marrying you. What? You heard me. No, no. And maybe uh, you opened your father's bedroom door, and she was just getting out of the shower. Uh. And she had just a towel on. Uh. You know, and that towel was riding really low. Exposing a lot of cleavage, Whoa. and she's all wet. Yeah. The skin's all fresh after then you can smell it. So calm down. Just pure, clean, clean yeah. and nude and beautiful. Yeah. It's textbook stuff, Brendan. 
<laughs> Look, the bottom line is you're going to be fine. You're just a kid. Right. You know, well, you grow up and everything, oh, well, it doesn't work out. <laughs> anyway, Brendan, one last thing. Yeah? Um, I gotta admit, Brendan, I'm a little disappointed in you. I thought we worked on history. Well, you know, the few answers that you told me were wrong, and most of the other stuff you told me never came up. All right. What did I tell you again? About the Area 51 stuff and the conspiracy theories. Well, all that stuff is true, Brendan. All right? That's yeah. the stuff they don't want you to know about. Right. Probably why they failed you, uh, you know? Right. Because you're in on it. Now you're complicit. Now you know. Right. Now you're singled out. Sure. You gotta watch your back. Right. You remember what I told you about Area 51? Yeah, it's where they store the frozen bodies of the aliens that landed on Earth. And what about Area 52? It's where they store the frozen bodies of the illegal aliens. Very good. Right. It's also a porn movie. Right. Now, why can't you do that on a test? Uh, you know, when you're talking to me, it's easy. Well, yeah. All you have to do is write this stuff down. I, I would have uh, had they asked me about it. Well, what did they ask you about? Historical figures. Well, that's not important. Yeah. Well, like Jimmy Hoffa, do they? No, more like a Washington. Well, they just plug in the Area 51 answer. Mm. All right. Yeah. They ask you anything about Sam Adams? I know about him. He was a brewer and a patriot, and I know what he looks like. It's on the label. Yeah. And funny hair. Yeah. Wanna go see a movie? Sure. Uh, let's hit it. Hey, Brendan, what are you angry at me for, all right? I, well, I never said I was angry. Well, you're angry because I gave you the wrong answers that one time. Uh, you gave me wrong answers, but I'm not mad. And I'll tell you something else. I should be mad at you because you're the one who started seeing this other tutor. I'm, I'm not seeing anybody. Who is it? You know what? I don't want to know. It's... No, I'm just supposed to be your soccer coach. That's what I get paid for, and I figure I can make a little money on the side tutoring you. But I also felt sorry for you because you're slow. Oh, what are you getting all bent? Hey, who are you calling slow? You! Huh. Real nice. Yeah, 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 real nice. I'm not the slow one. Yeah. So this is it, then? Yeah, this is it. Great. Nice knowing you. Okay, I'm, I'm willing to put it all on the line, okay? What does that mean? I don't know. Tell your tutor I said hi. Well, maybe I will. Well, go ahead and say it. Well, maybe I... Okay. Okay, goodbye. Bye-bye. See you later. Walk away! I'm walking! And you pardon me for caring about your well-being. What? I said pardon me for caring about your well-being. What? That's what I get for trying to help someone. Are you talking to me? You probably don't even know who did the Gettysburg Address. Yes, I do. Oh, yeah, who? Nixon. That's correct. And who taught you that? <sighs> you did. Yeah, that's right, I did. Oh, man. Well, I'll accept your apology. Let's hear it. I'm sorry. No, let's hear the address in the Nixon voice that I taught you. <laughs> Bruh, I'm not a crook. How long, Coach McGurk? How long do we have to stretch? Coach McGurk? What? It's already been 45 minutes. We're all stretched. Whoa, whoa. Why, what was I saying? You weren't saying anything. Well, what are you saying? I was saying we're all stretched. Great. What does that mean? We're all stretched out. Yeah? Can we stop? Who are you? It's Melissa. Melissa who? Coach McGurk, what's the matter? You don't look so good. No, oh, well. Are you on another bender? <sighs> Where'd you learn that word, Melissa? From you. All right. No, no. Of course not, Melissa. I'm not on a bender. I wouldn't do that to you. <sighs> I just I haven't, I haven't slept in uh, about four days. How come? I mean, how come? What kind of question is that, Melissa? Well, why I just can't, all right? I can't sleep. I have insomnia. What's that? You don't know what insomnia is? No. It's when you can't sleep. Did you try lying on your bed and, you know, having your eyes closed and just relaxing? Oh, that's genius, Melissa. What a great idea. Let me write that down. So you're saying what I have to do to fall asleep is go to sleep, right? Is that what you're saying, Melissa? Mm -hmm. Good, because it's brilliant. You should write a book. You should give seminars, all right? You'll make millions of dollars. Attention, all insomniacs. All you have to do to fall asleep is lie in your bed. All right. Coach, I was just trying to help. I'm sorry, Melissa. I didn't mean to snap at you, all right? It's just that I haven't slept in four nights, all right? All right. And then I got you peeping in my ear about stretching. I'm just trying to help. Like every other woman in my life. <clears throat> That's okay, but I don't see anything wrong with you physically. Well, what about this? Hmm? Well... That don't look right. Okay, well, we Have don't... Have you seen African Queen? I'll be right with you. There are children outside waiting. Well, bring them in. I don't give a damn. I don't think... Look, lady, you can come on to me all you want. I'm gonna say no every time. All right? Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. I, I got carried away. You know what? I'm sorry. Look, forget about what I said. I just need some help here. I haven't slept in four days. I know. All right? 
Okay, there's a sleep center at the university. Mm -hmm. They do all kinds of research. Right. So maybe they can help. It just seems like a brush off. It's a referral. Okay, well, Mr. McGurk, did you understand the waiver you signed? Uh, not really. I... Okay, great. But I signed okay. it. Okay, um, hmm. All right, we're going to monitor your brain waves right now. We're going to just uh... go ahead and hook you up. Okay. Okay. We're going to figure out w if we can see what's keeping you up at night. Uh -huh. All right. That's, that's the point, right? Mm -hmm. mm. It's pretty bright in here, though. Yeah. Do those lights go off, or? We do need to keep those on. Yeah. Well, how do you sleep? Hmm? I mean, how do you go to sleep with the lights? Yeah. Okay, can you just go ahead and sit up straight? Me... Oh, sorry, can you hand me that? It, behind you? Um. I'm sorry, it's here. Oh. So what? Uh, where do you want me? Thank you want you. me? Yes, thanks. Yeah, I don't think, ow. <laughs> you can uh, I'll go I'll do to... his legs, you do his that arms? should fit snugly. Okay, that, uh. Okay. Is that tight enough? Let's yeah, that's actually pretty tight. Enough, just one more notch. Okay. All right, now, now how am I supposed to sleep with all this stuff on? Oh, I'm, well, I'm... that's for us to worry about. Right, but I'm not getting blood to my leg. You ever get electrodes put on your face? Uh, no. Nah, Here it goes. Well, welcome to town. Ow! Ow! Um, That's my eye. Ooh. Da, da, can, you, da, da, can you take that one off? All up? right. So we've got some. Uh, can I ask one question? Well, gonna... Yeah, I think it's fine. Can I ask one question? Sure. Seriously? Sure. sure. Yes. Is this candid camera? Sir, we're students. We're just trying our best. Yeah, well, here's a suggestion. Uh -huh. um, go get someone who knows what they're doing. Oh my! You, re I, sir, you, m I'm sorry. <laughs> you might be a little irritable because you haven't slept. Yeah, that's really m maybe what it is, and also maybe you don't know what you're doing. Okay, I think we're all set here. Great. Good night. Wait, we're have a good, good night. Have a good night. We leave you alone now. We will see you in twelve hours. I'm not hooked up. It's just everything's stupid, and I can't write anything. It's stupid. Yeah, Brendan. Yeah. I haven't slept now in six days. Did you try closing your eyes? Yeah, I tried that. Oh. Point is, is that I can't really keep my train of thought. Okay. All right, so while I'm talking, I may just... Coach? What? Um, What's Coach, up? You were saying? What are you doing? <laughs> Talking to you, I guess. I mean, I guess. Well, why are you talking and not practicing, Brendan? We were because it's. Oh, I was, we're talking about my writer's block. Remember? Here's what you do then, Coach. Right? Yeah. Take a scene from a famous movie, right? Right. Coach. What? Oh, nothing. You were just you were just kind of starting to tell me like some advice or something, and then. Right, and then just change the names around, right? Right. Instead of using the name Vito Corleone, yeah, call him Marty. All right. But that's stealing. Right, so I'm saying, don't call it the Godfather. You know, just change that, too. Call it the Grandfather. Oh. See Weekend at Bernie's? No. I write a movie like that. All right, you know what? I'm out of here. Hey, no. Whoa. Yeah. But you're a great subject. Yeah, you haven't slept in seven days. Yeah. This is great for our research. I'll tell you something. I'm done. Got it? No more for me. If you want a guinea pig, get a rabbit. Or get a guinea pig. Okay, whoa. Okay. Great. Thank you for coming anyway. Yeah, if you still can't sleep, please, you know, consider returning. You know, I'm not returning. I'm out of here. Hey, can I keep these, though? Sure. And here's your check, Mr. McGurk. Check? It's your fee for letting us study you. 150 bucks? Just for this week? Oh, yeah. Wow. 150 Mm-hmm. You betcha. Do I keep getting more money if I keep staying? Yes. That's how it works, yeah. All right, let's get going. Guys, hook me up, huh? McGurk, one more session and you can buy a DVD player, all right? You want a DVD, right? Coach, coach, stay with me. Stay with me. DVD, DVD. Eye on the prize, baby. I'm so tired. Right. Wake up! I need more coffee. I need the noise. What happened to the noise? Start digging up the street again, for the love of God! Mr. McGurk? Mr. McGurk? Mr. McGurk? Mr. McGurk, uh -huh. you can't stay here. Huh? What? Mr. McGurk, you're sleeping again. Go Your home. Your insomnia is uh -huh. cured. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it isn't. I was just dozing. It's different. I'm sorry, Mr. McGurk. We can't do it anymore. Do what? We can't have you at the sleep study program if you're sleeping. Come on, 150 more bucks. DVD player! <laughs> Oh, he was a good subject. Yeah. Well, 
I better call the police. Yeah. Coach, I have to leave early today. Well, leave early then, Brendan. Okay, thank you. Well, you don't care about soccer anymore? What? Yeah. No, I, I just have to, I have to go. I gotta... Well, you got a note? Here's a note. You have a written note, No, Brendan. I don't have a written note. Well, then technically it's illegal for me to let you leave. Well, I'll, I'll bring one tomorrow. There's no big deal. Well, write one up now. All right, hold on. <coughs> Please allow Brendan Small mm -hmm. to leave immediately. All right. All right. I'll attach a little something to that. You mean like a, a C note? No, uh, just a five. Five, okay. What do you, why are you going to leave anyway? I should probably know, right? I, well, I, I got a pizza club meeting with my dad. Pizza club? Yeah, it's a, it's a club that me and my dad started because we're fond of pizza. It's a club? Yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds so stupid. Yeah. I like pizza, Brendan. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't go join a club. I, but I, I mean, I love pizza. Yeah, it's awesome. The cheese. Yeah, sauce. Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, man. It's so good. I'm saying I like pizza, Brendan. And you like it. Yeah. And you have a club. Oh, well, you should start a pizza club, too. Well, why would I start my own? I mean, you already got one going. I should just join yours. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, this is a this is a, a father-son pizza club. So this you're saying that I don't belong in your club? I guess You so. have a private club that excludes people. I, uh, huh? I, I guess. There's a word for that, Brendan. What? I don't know. There's definitely a word for that. Right, right. I think you better leave, Brendan. Oh, thanks, Caligula. Brendan. Coach? Well, well, well. What a coincidence. Uh, How are you? Who's this? Oh, uh, Dad, this is uh, my soccer coach, Coach McGurk. Oh, hey, nice to meet you. Oh, uh, yeah, I pictured you much younger. That's, <clears throat> that's cool. I have a lot of respect for a guy who can keep it going. That's terrific. Yeah, what are you, uh, what are you guys up to? Uh, um, well, we got uh, some pizza. Yeah. Yeah, a little pizza, huh? Yeah. 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 Yeah, coach. What are you guys, are you guys, uh, you got the to-go thing, or are you going to do here? Well, we're going to take it back to my apartment. Oh, I'm just yeah. figuring out what I'm going to do, you know, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get some pizza, too, huh? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to, uh, to finally meet a couple fellow pizza lovers. <laughs> yeah? Right. Yeah. Hey, this is like a little, uh, this is like a club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, well, uh, we're going to take off. Uh, yeah, it was nice meeting very, you, though. Very That's, nice uh, to meet you. Yeah. Very nice to yeah, meet you. Yeah, the same. Yeah. You uh, you know, Brendan's great out there on the field. You should, uh, yeah, it's funny, I haven't seen you at any games. Hey, Brendan, actually, I'm coming to the next game. Really? Yes, I am. No, you're... Well, I was well, going to be a surprise. Games. I just wanted to show up oh, and man. be there. But, uh, I, yeah, what kind wow. of pizza you guys got going That really is a surprise. Huh? Well, you know. That's great. I just I've never seen you at a game. You. I've always wanted you to see me play. Yeah. Uh, guys, I feel like that's if you're going to be playing a sport, yeah, you need a man. Yeah. You, you got a large. Oh, thanks. Dad, thanks. That okay. feeds too. Anyway, that's actually and, uh, incredible. Wow. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, it was nice, nice, to, uh, nice yeah, to meet you. Yeah, we'll see you're you later. Take yeah, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm gonna you get know, a, see I'm gonna, I'll see probably, you later. I can't uh, believe you're Stick the around game. here. Or wow. Definitely get some pizza then, I guess. Hey, Brendan. Yeah. Hop on. Are you serious? Of course I am. Get on. This bike is awesome. Where did you get it? Don't worry about that, Brendan. The bike is, uh... Well, the bike is for you. Really? I'm I'm speechless. I, I just, yeah. I, yeah well, I, you, you like it? Of course I do. I thought you might. You know, I thought you might. Uh, I really, I thought you might like it. Wow. I'll tell you something. My dad never did anything like this for me. You know, never. Wow. Your old man ever do anything like this for you? Get you a bike? Oh, yeah. He got me a bike. He did? Yeah. When? A week ago. Oh. That's pretty recent. Yeah, but uh, is it as good as this one? Uh, yeah, mine's better, actually. Well, I got to tell you, Brendan, I don't like that guy. All right? I don't like you hanging out with strangers. Well, he's not—he's a stranger to you, but he's not a stranger to me. Uh, still, Brendan, I don't like him. Don't rationalize, all right? I don't like you hanging out with him, going around with him, eating pizza with him. Plus, we've got a soccer team here, right? You're part of the team, right? Yeah. I'm still your coach, right? Yeah. Well, get off the bike. Uh, it was just that one time, coach. No, you I know left. what? It's not yours. It's mine. Get off. But I still like it. I don't care. This paint is scratched. I swear to God, somebody's initials in it anyway. Well, I mean... Technically, it's not my bike. All right, pizza club members, say aye. Aye, 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 aye. 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 All right, let's uh, hurry. Let's eat pizza. This is pizza club, so okay. let's. Okay, I can't have pizza. 
What? I can't have pizza. Why? I'm allergic to it. Oh my god, um, me too. I can't lactose right, well, intolerance from it. Perry. Oh my god, do you? Perry, I do too. Well, we oh my god, take Coach. The... Perry? Coach, but we can't Perry? have pizza. Perry? We... Yeah? I have spastic colon. Well, we can take I think the I have that too. Uh, but it's when I eat cheese. Me too. Well, then the colon gets spastic. Me too. <laughs> Who's your Guys. doctor? <laughs> Dr. Milton. Oh my god, that's my doctor. Oh my god. Walter Did you go Perry. see Dr. Milton? Let me go see Dr. Milton right now. Oh my god, yeah. Let's go. So, uh, I guess, uh, Pizza Club is, uh, over. I don't know everything, Brent. Uh, excuse me, you play soccer? No. Well, there's the bleachers. That's where the parents sit. Okay. That's where the players sit. Coach. What? Coach. What? Please. What? what, you, what? Please what, Brendan, all right? You should be focused on the game. And honestly, sir, you want to sit in the bleachers, all right? Okay. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why are you acting like this? Acting like what, Brendan? You're acting like a jerk. Oh, I'm acting like a jerk? Yeah. Oh, I am? Yeah. I'm acting like a jerk. Yes, you are. That's a laugh. Coming from you. Hey, guys. Whoa, 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 wait. What do you mean, especially coming from you? Oh, you don't know what that means, Brendan? No. I have to explain everything to you? Yes. Please. I can play your game, Brendan. All right. All right, guys. I stay out of this. Wait a minute. Uh, explain what you, you mean. Know what, Brendan? I don't have to do anything you want me well, to do. Well, neither do I. Not anymore. Okay. Yes, I do. Well, you're benched then. Not I'm benched already. Well, you're double benched. Guys. I don't, I don't, guys. don't well, they triple guys. Guys. I don't triple care. Guys. 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 What? What? We, the Pizza Club, would like to announce the induction of our newest member, John McGurk. Thank you. All right. Finally made it. Yeah. Feels good. Um, I wrote a short speech. Okay. Uh, okay. So, um, well, thank you. I mean, uh, it's, it's great to be a part of something. You know? I, mean, I haven't been in a club in a while. It's all right, John. It's okay. And, um, yeah. It's just, uh, wow. <clears throat> it's all right, John. I'm sorry. I, hey, I, hey, have some pizza. Uh, huh? That's what we're here for. Brendan. Yeah? Your playing was bad today. Thank you. Really bad. Thank you. I want you to know that. Yeah. And you're probably not going to get better. Mm. I also want you to know that. Well, I appreciate your frankness. Uh, but I, I didn't want to overexert myself today, Coach. Why is that? Because I got a rash. You do? Yes, I do. Where is that rash? It's on my back. You want to see? Sure. Here you go. It's not really a rash, Brendan. Yeah, it is. Trust me, in the world of rashes, that is not a rash. Mm. Do you want to know what a real rash is? No. I'll tell you. You get a rash somewhere on your body. It hurts so bad that you go blind. Mm. That's how bad it is. Yeah. You blow up like a balloon. Right. You look like a circus freak. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Next thing you know, you're in the circus, touring, making good money. Ah. You know my life. You're coaching, right, I think in conclusion, I... Brendan, mm. rashes come from bad hygiene. Mm. All right, so what you got to do, yeah. whenever you go to a public restroom, yeah. and you sit on a toilet seat, put the toilet seat cover down. Yeah. If they don't have them there, manufacture one out of toilet paper, or your shirt, or your socks, anything <laughs> to cover the seat. Uh, yeah, Coach, that's my ride. What? Who? That my mom and her, and her friend are picking me up. Well, I should say hi to your mom. Uh, Tell her how bad you played. That's all right. Um, <clears throat> hello. I'm, uh, Coach McGurk. Hi, Paula. Hi. <clears throat> uh, this is Coach McGurk. Coach McGurk, Stephanie. Well, pleased to, uh, meet you, Stephanie. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. My, look at you. You're, you're a big fella. Uh-huh. Are you a bodybuilder? Oh, no, no, just a big fella. <laughs> Just blessed with bigness. <laughs> so were you uh, visiting, or you... Well, I'm in town for the next few days, uh -huh. so I'll be around here for the next few days, you know, at, uh, at, at the Smalls. Well, that's convenient, because I live here... Well, and... we should get going. Mm. The hell I'm not going, Brendan. I was told that it was supposed to be a small, intimate event. So? I'm going. Too late. You already invited me. That Stephanie girl's going, right? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'm disinviting you to the wedding. I'm sorry, but that is final. She say anything about me? She you can't. Yes, she she won't shut up about you, and I hate it. See, this girl's a sure thing. You know what that means, Brendan? I have a pretty good idea. Well, I don't know if you do. Well, let me explain. Some girls are really easygoing. Not going? You you're not going. Yes, I am, Brendan. No, you can't come. Yes, I can, Brendan. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Brendan, I'm going. No, you are not. Yes, I am. You cannot come. I'm going. No, you're not. I am. No, you're not. I am. Ceremonies one guest should arrive at 1230. I good. Well, hello there, beautiful. Hi yourself, cowboy. Mmm, you smell nice. Thanks, deodorant. But enough about my smells. Let's talk about you, Angel Face. 
Well, it just so happens that Angel Face got a room here. Care to check out the architecture? Well, let me grab my blueprints. Good, we'll survey the landscape. Yeah, and then we'll cut the lawn. Hmm? Hey, uh, nice room you got here. Yeah, but you know what's not so nice? What's that? My back sore. Oh, dear. Um, my back uh, used to be sore, actually, uh -huh. a few years ago. So, welcome to the club. The back, oh. the sore back club. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, yep. see, my, my shoulders mm -hmm. are so, 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 so tense. Mm. And I had a hernia once that was a, a mother. <laughs> you have any ideas to make my back feel better? Well, uh, pills. That's what I used. And alcohol. Uh-huh. And, um, you can't beat a good night's sleep. Oh. I'll tell you that. Um, heating pad? <clears throat> you have any other ideas? I think the heating pad was the best one. I... <clears throat> so, so what do your uh, parents do for a living? They're retired. Oh, that's the big payoff. Uh-huh. You know, after a long life of hard work. Oh. I certainly can't wait. Uh, I'm getting cold. Oof. Um. Well, what should we do now? Hmm? Dear me. Um... I think this cowboy's gonna get going. Um, thank you for having me here, though, and uh, oh. tell your parents I said hi. Congratulations on the retirement. I know it can be a tough transition. Bye. Well, things plugged in. Electricity seems to be working. Come on, you stupid. Ow! Oh, cheap. Oh. Hey, McGurk has that Joe coming. <laughs> I uh, can't navigate through my geography class without my caffeine co pilot. <laughs> hey, when do you think that fuel will be ready for pumping, eh? <laughs> hey, Fink, you know how to work this thing? <sighs> what is it, plugged in, Big Ark? Yeah, it's plugged in. I can't help you, then. I'm not a mechanic. Uh, that's great, Fink. Ow! God, my hand! <clears throat> <laughs> hey, I didn't want mine to go, huh? Principal Plum! Beautiful morning, isn't it? Coffee machine is on the uh, fritz again. So I threw it on your car. Sorry. Is it, uh, can you check if it's working? So, Mr. McGurk, tell me something about yourself. <clears throat> uh, well, do you mind if I have a look at that application? Oh, sure, sure. Just, you know, refresh my memory. I, uh -huh. I graduated USC, as it says here. Oh. And I uh, fought in the Gulf War. Gulf War? Yeah. I went to UCLA myself. Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful country. Well, I'm sold. Well, me too. I think you're our new night manager, Mr. McGurk. Well, that's great. When do I? Well, well, let me uh, hold on there one one second. Let me Can't just wait check. To put the tie on. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. Let me just see what the old background check turned up. Uh, da dee da. Uh, uh, oh, oh, Mr. McGurk. Yeah, right. I'm sorry, but you've got quite a history here. All these fines and arrests and. Drunken disorderly, drunken disorderly. Oh, right. Well, I, wait a minute. Before you go jump in the gun. I'm here. afraid that's not what we had in mind. It's a family restaurant. Look, sir, I'll be honest with you, all right? I went a little mental the other day, and I need 1700 bucks to pay for some damages. Look at my hands. Empty. It's out of my hands. I can't help you, Mr. McGurk, unless you wanted to order some food. <laughs> all right. I love coaching, you know? I mean, I'm in it for the kids. You know, sometimes I say to the school, don't pay me, but they don't listen. You know, but that's the kind of worker I am. I'm loyal, trustworthy, and uh, noteworthy. Well, your background check came through clean as a whistle, Mr. Small. Welcome to Galaxy Coffee. Wow, thanks. That's great. Please call me Brendan. Hi, my name's Clarice. Well, my name's Brendan Small. Got it? Brendan Small. My boyfriend calls me Little Mama. Well, that's cute. So what's up, Clarice? I'm gonna train you, but I don't mean like in a health club. Yeah, I, I didn't think you did since we're in a coffee shop. All right, so this is the uh, coffee maker, right? I gotta warn you, I don't get along with coffee machines. And you're staring at me. I know, my boyfriend says I stare. Well, it's because you do. Now stop it, it's creepy. I'm going to college next year. My boyfriend's already in college. Well, it's exciting, Clarice. Now will you please stop staring at me? And you really should blink. Because blinking shows that you're human. All right? 
Clarice, this doesn't look right. It's all foam. It looks like soap suds. You forgot to put the espresso in. Well, why didn't you tell me? You have to learn for yourself. My girlfriend and I were born on the same exact day. Well, that's exciting. What day was that? D-Day? No. You're funny. Yes, I am. My boyfriend could get really jealous of you. Uh-huh. Look, little mama, let me tell you something, all right? I'm here to do my time, make my money, and that's it. I can't possibly get involved with a co-worker. That would be wrong. Plus, how old are you? 18. Well, I could potentially get involved with a co-worker. Okay, again, one, two, three dollars and fifty-six, seven cents. There's your change. Have a nice day. Don't bother coming back next. You shouldn't say that to customers. It hurts their feelings. He's not robbing it. He's working here. Clarice, spare me. All right, the guy was a jerk. Handed me a five. He must have had two bucks, right? I'll have a double grande, half-calf, single-shot vanilla skin cappuccino for here. Coach McGurk, what are you doing here? Brendan. Why did he call you Coach McGurk? Uh, I don't know. He's probably retarded. Why does your name tag say Brendan Small? Because that's his name. See, my name tag says Clarice. But my boyfriend calls me Little Mama. Clarice, take a break. Can I get my coffee? Lady, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what the hell you ordered. How about a biscotti? Coach McGurk, I mean, I mean, Brendan, I, I really have to use the bathroom, so... Bathrooms are for customers only. But I'm, I'm too young to drink coffee, and if, and if I did, I'd have to pee more, so... No, no Brendan, I'm... we should probably just start shooting. They're going to shoot you? It's a robbery! Hey, Brendan, what's going on? Well, Brendan, I'd like to film the big final scene of our movie here, but first I have to pee. Yeah, you know, Clarice, you mean shoot a movie. Brendan! What? what? Brendan, thank God you're all right. Who's she? My mother. I've been looking all <sighs> over for you. Brendan, you know you're not supposed to uh, leave the group. You're going to have to be punished for this. Can I pee first? Brendan, I was so worried about you. Get over ah, here. Mom, no, don't touch me. I'm gonna, I have to really use Brendan, the bathroom. Brendan, listen to me. I don't want you you're running off like that You're pressing on my bladder. Again. I was worried sick. I'm sorry. I mean, I, I, I Mom, I, McGurk, I, 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 I didn't know you worked here. Oh, now I have to pee. Hey, that is a guy I threw out of my hotel so last week. Oh, great. This is great. Coach McGurk, why does your name tag say Brendan? Wait a minute. Everybody's calling you Coach McGurk. Your name isn't Brendan Small. You lied. You lied to me. I'm going to tell the manager. I got to pee. Somebody this there. Where did you find him? Where's my coffee? Later, you're this not getting my Brendan my Small. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> what? Hmm? You say something? <sighs> no. No, no, no. Hey,